What are you making, Dad? Dark potato chips. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Are they chocolate covered or are they just dark potato chips? Oh yeah, I got a call from them too. Yeah, that's right. Yeah. They look kind of like light potato chips to me. Something's not adding up, Dad. <laughs> and then we're going to use peanut butter to dip them in so they're half dipped in peanut butter. No way. Yes way. Is that illegal? No. I guess I won't pass this on YouTube. I won't tell anybody. Did you do a bug sweep this morning to see if there's any listening devices down here? Remember all the ones we found last week? Yeah. Golly gee gumpers, they're gonna be on to us. Here, can Who's, you take this for me, sweetie? Who's yeah. bugging us again? The, the chip police. The chip police, huh? Are there any any other police that bug us, like the pretzel police? Mm -hmm. Yep. They're after us too? Yeah, and then in our private life, the hummus police. Uh. They're everywhere. The fuzz, they're everywhere. <laughs> 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 That's so funny, Dad. It's no laughing matter. Yes, it is. Mm-hmm. It's good to laugh. They say it's the best medicine. That's what they say. You know, they say it. It must be true. I think I read that on the World Wide Web. Hmm. You can't lie on the World Wide Web. It's <laughs> true. I think World Abraham Web. Lincoln said that. Yeah. He was on the World Wide Web? Yeah, and he said that. <laughs> so that, that's your technique, Dad? You grab a bunch, put them on the tray, and then put it in the puddle? Yep, do them up. Did you make that technique up yourself? Yeah. Did you patent it yet? So if we're putting this on YouTube. I pat it, yeah. You pat it? Yeah. Fine. I can tell you really are a dad. Yeah, I had kids. You drive by the cemetery when you guys were little. That's what I just thought of when I was. Yeah, and I was all dads. Say, all what's, dads the, what's the daddiest dad joke you could ever come up? All with? dads say that when you drive by a cemetery. Look, oh, kids, they're all dying to get in. <laughs> <laughs> or if you stop at a stop sign, what do you do? Um, oh, no, if you, go, if you go by a sign that says "Stop ahead." Yeah, oh. that was a classic. I think I don't know. That might have been a dad original. Put your hand on the kid's head. Stop ahead! Mm. That was not dead as usual. It's better since the signs were made. Yeah? Yeah. I don't know. He's the only one I ever heard say that. He's the only dad you ever know. He's the only dad I've had so far. Well, Best one yet. Oh, Why right. Why you see if you Score. can trick Max's dad into driving down a road with you with one of those signs and see what he does? I don't think he would do that. Okay. He's not dad. He's a dad. <laughs> he's not the dad. Yeah. He's not the daddiest dad that ever did dad? Yeah. I mean, they both take their dadding pretty seriously. Right. Is this mythical man we speak of ever going to be on the YouTubes? I don't know. You're going to have to ask him. I tried to get him once when he was in here. Yeah. He said no. He dodged he it. Like, I need more. I just need some notice. <laughs> <laughs> Can't just spring it on me. Put his makeup on. It's like, come on, all you are is Max, and your hair is a little different color. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you almost can't tell the difference. Mm. Mm-hmm. Well, his hair is um. Not really there. <laughs> yeah. He shaves it. So. <laughs> if Max shaved his head. I mean, looks good. Yeah. <laughs> looks good. Looks good on you. Yeah. So if you pull the soup with that. Okay, you're getting low on chips here now. You're getting kind of small. So you like the big chip, right? Yeah. Big chips are the best chips? That's what everybody wants. Mm -hmm. Especially the person dipping them because they're a pain to dip on the teeny weeny. Now what are you pretending to do over here? I'm pretending to chop up the vegan chocolate. So we're going to do some chunk chocolate. Mm. We did the, so far the chocolate marshmallows, chocolate potato chips, chocolate pretzels and peanut butter cups. Hmm. But I thought people might like to just have some chunk chocolate. Then they can melt whatever they want. Sure. And they can make their own vegan sure. chocolate. Sure. That's what they want to do. Sure. Potato chips. And just so everybody knows, this is this is the non-vegan dark chocolate, right? That is correct. And we don't usually carry these dark chocolate uh, cow tater chips. Yeah, we, well, yeah well. We, make, we make dark chips. But what the the second step of dipping on peanut butter, that's one thing we don't normally do. Usually we just do the milk potato chips with the peanut butter. 
for the cow effect, but there's one customer in particular who does order them on occasion, and we make them for her. A pretty good reason to make them. Yeah. We're here we'd to like make to people make, happy. We like to make things as a demand for her. She's really the only person who's ever demanded them. She demanded, demanded them? She demanded Whoa. them. Although she is willing to pay for them. So I <laughs> demand that so you make them. she's got meat. that going for her. But that's kind of how we decide how to add things to our lineup. Yeah. If several people ask for it, like back in the, was it the, it was the 80s, um, when the lady that we bought our cream beater from, Mrs. Ronsvale, she was a candy maker. She was our real competition around here. She was a candy maker and she uh, made chocolate pro potato chips. And she went out of business, you know, she just, I think she went to a nursing home. Mm. So her customers started calling us and asking for them, and um, so we'd make them to order, and you know, give us a couple days, we'd make them to order, and then uh, they kept asking and asking. So finally, one day, a light bulb went off. And went, oh, what if we made them regularly? No way. And put them on the shelf. Mm. That was the first time That's we ever crazy talk. made that connection that we have this demand for this item. I thought of it. You did not. It's my idea. Take your anger, anger out on the chocolate, mom. Yeah, you know, I don't want to... Right next to your finger. I don't want to be poking any holes. <laughs> I don't want Swiss cheese fingers, thank you very much. Uh, somebody mentioned in the comments that they were, they were wondering if we could do... Um, no, actually, I think it might have even been on Instagram. Yeah, they, they asked on Instagram if uh, we would ever do um, vegan cream centers, and I told them that most of the cream centers are vegan. It's just the chocolate that's... Yeah, the cream centers not. are vegan, mm -hmm. other than the buttercreams. So if that's a problem for you because it's the same starch, that the, mm. the buttercreams go in the same starch right. as the uh, regular, so I feel like that might be a problem for, for yeah. some people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we, we could just ask them like if if uh, if it would be a problem or if they would still be about it. Because somebody asked if we could do chocolate drops, vegan chocolate drops. Yeah. Which that, I mean, that's like a more mainstream thing. Mm -hmm. So I said yes, you know, as long as you understand that it's the sugar is not a vegan sugar, it's a bone, you know, bone char sugar. And they said they were okay with that, but I, I didn't think of the uh, the buttermilk the and the butter, cornstarch and stuff. The dairy yeah, because we only so. have one starch room, so yep. <laughs> we're not at this point. We're not getting a whole vegan starch room. Maybe yeah. if we uh, yeah. move our ourselves, we'll have a little vegan starch room. But yeah. At this point, no. But if they're okay with both of those things, I mean, like right. personally, I don't know. I wouldn't really care. It's it's it, to me. It's it's almost like the label that says like used in the like uh you know the same equipment right. that uses like milk or whatever like it's it's the ingredients aren't in it it's just the same ingredients that are being used Might have brushed up again. yeah basically well but the thing is is if somebody does have a um a dairy yeah. mm -hmm. it depends on how yeah how much it bothers them yeah because at this point because we have not made any there is no casual contact with mm -hmm. any milk ingredients or equipment does i mean Everything down to the ice pick is cleaned and sanitized first before it touches the vegan chocolate. Mm -hmm. So yes, it is the same equipment, but there's not really any nooks and crannies for <laughs> on an ice pick for uh, milk to high or on a table, mm -hmm. quite frankly. Yeah. So, but the the warning is still on the label for that reason. But yeah, if we got into doing a cream center, then you do have the casual contact thing. Mm -hmm. All right, Dad. How many of these you got to do? I'll do, uh, this is my first bag, so I'll probably do one more. One more bag. And then this is what you've done so far in the bag? Yep. The big chips on the bottom? Kind of, the yeah. Bottom big chips, the smaller, no, these are pretty much less Yeah, because she ordered four pounds of dark chips and then one pound of the dark with the peanut butter. Mm -hmm. Oh, four pounds of chips and then... No, well, no, I'm sorry. Three pounds of dark chips and only one is the peanut butter in the dark. Um, maybe so you I've got a total of four pounds of dark, and you just take one of those pounds. And so maybe I better do three bags. I don't think so. No, mm. just two. No, I mean well, either of, way, I will be back when you guys are dipping in the peanut butter chocolate, right? Yeah, we'll negotiate. We'll do the math. Which is yeah, fun. you guys talk to corporate and let me know yeah, uh, yeah, when you we, get eyes when you guys get all those papers signed, and I can come we'll down. Why don't you call the board of directors in and have a vote? Yeah. Yeah, boy, it's tough. Those guys don't listen very well. Yeah. They probably say the same thing about us. <laughs> Okay, I'm just adding some peanut butter chocolate to the chocolate I have already melted, but it's a little too warm, so... So you're using that to cool it down? Using this to cool it down. 
And this is what the peanut butter chocolate looks like. Yep. It's uh, little pieces. It's really, really good chocolate. So what is it? Because it's not like actual chocolate though, right? Is no, it like, no. Is it like, kind of like white chocolate but with peanut butter flavoring or? Uh, kind of, yeah. Uh, with uh, actual peanut peanut butter like uh, mixed in. It's just... Uh, hmm. As close as you can get? Yes. Yeah, because you, I don't think there, there's yeah. like no way to get actual like peanut butter chocolate, right? No. It's not it's a real. It doesn't exist. <laughs> really, so, it's so soft. The this chocolate, the peanut butter chocolate, that you can't make anything hollow. Mm -hmm. You can't make like peanut butter cups with it. Yeah, yeah. Some people it, are asking for it. Yeah, because it's too, uh, it's too soft and it won't work. You can't make anything hollow. And if we could, we might. Oh yeah, yeah. we'd do it, but I can't. For all those people who really love peanut butter, then they can have yeah. peanut butter cups with peanut butter in the cups. Yep. It's Wait, I want, I want to come over here to see them get dropped in. I can't. I can't fit. <laughs> I'm too fat. Wow, look at that. How neat is that? <laughs> That's pretty neat. That's pretty neat. Here we go. Oh boy. It's, it's perfectly tempered now. Yeah. So now I can just dip in it. I have to make sure it's nice. Nice and cool before you use it. And how were you doing this before? Well, I just did it on the table like I usually do with puddles of chocolate. Mm -hmm. But now I uh, just temper it in the kettle for doing quick, doing uh, dipping like this. It's quicker and easier. So what made you want to start doing it this way? Um, just figured I could do it faster if I get the kettle cool enough at the right temperature instead of cooling it on the table for dipping. So you just kind of cut out the middleman? Yeah, just, uh, it, it is faster. Yeah. I mean, look at how they're drying already, see that? Oh yeah. Yeah. If I did it too warm, they'd still be like this wet looking. Yeah. They'd, but they're dry already because hmm. I'm doing it at the right temperature. Mm -hmm. So if you do this at home, it's got to be nice and cold. And. Uh, do you know like what temperature for peanut butter? If someone's like using the thermometer? Uh, I'm just guessing, but uh, probably uh, 85, 86. Because that's what you guys use for milk chocolate, right? Yeah. And you said you just discovered that, like since, since you guys uh, got the Enrober. Yeah, since we got the Enrober, I didn't. I learned the temperatures of the chocolate before. I I just learned how to dip. By the uh, feel of the chocolate, and the temp that's all I learned it from my parents when I was a kid, just by the touch. They didn't have thermometers back then, huh? Well, hadn't been invented. Did, hadn't been invented not yet. That's how they taught me. So maybe. didn't even invent mercury yet. <laughs> hadn't been invented. Yeah, didn't even invent it yet. Didn't even discover the planet yet. <laughs> then I went outside and played with rocks. Yeah, and you were grateful. Yeah. <laughs> And then they invented the stick, and the whole world changed. <laughs> so how'd you guys get the idea for the um, cow chips, like the peanut butter, half peanut butter, half milk, or dark, or whatever you? That's a good question. <laughs> I don't really know. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Was it mom's idea? Should I ask uh, mom? I don't know. It's just quite a long time ago. I don't know how we... I don't know. Hmm. It was a long time ago. Don't rightly remember. You got any tips and tricks for people trying to do this at home, Dan? Got to be patient. You got to wait for the chocolate to be nice and cool and tempered. And so when you tell people the tempered chocolate at home, you usually tell them... Uh, when you're melting the chocolate in a little double boiler, small one, on the stove, when it's halfway melted, turn the heat right off, and then just keep stirring it until it's all melted, and then leave it for about 10 minutes, mm -hmm. and then you can probably use it. Yeah. You don't want to get chocolate hot. Yeah, yeah, because you don't want to, like, 
wait until it's all melted. Then like, oh, that's good because then you might if you burn get it. it too hot, you will evaporate the oils and the chocolate, mm -hmm. and it'll all stiffen up on you. Hmm. That's it's, no good. It's got to be gently uh, melted. Oh, look at that. It's very touchy. Almost the whole tray so far. I guess there's a reason they call you Quick Steve, huh? Yeah, <laughs> that's it. Mm -hmm. I think the the people on the YouTubes uh, when we when we say Quick Steve, they th um, not that you're not quick, but your name originally came about from uh, sarcasm, though, right? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and now everyone's like, "Wow, he's so quick." Because your mom. <laughs> What a surprise. <laughs> Ron, Dad. This is your dad going fast. <laughs> Quick Steve. Quick Steve. The house is on fire. That's why they call him Quick Steve. Okay, did I ever tell you about the house fire? It's picking on me. Mm-hmm. Well, she's the little pink bunny. She's got so much energy. Just keeps going and going and going. Yeah, that's her. During the holidays, I'm down here tired, and she's just running around like nothing. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't have, really have much of an off switch. She's like Charlie Sheen. She just has one speed. Go. <laughs> Winning! <laughs> so we got the lunch lady, um, mom, here to show you guys. Make your own lunch, little brat. <laughs> <laughs> Alright. This was a fight to the death. Yeah? To get to this point where I can pack these chips. Because the labels, print All shop right. that I have, yeah. it stopped wanting to... It, it, Dumped a whole bunch of fonts, so I had to redo the whole label. Hmm. Retype everything. Okay, so I go to print it out. My printer stopped printing colors. <sighs> so I got rid of that printer, and I got out another printer that my friend dropped off the other day and said, Hey, you want a printer? Sure I do. You never know when you need a new one. Sometimes you might need it two days from now. <laughs> so I had to uninstall the old printer, install the new printer. So now I'm ready to print. <laughs> I mean, Phil. Oy vey, akmein goidel. Oh, my. I'm sorry, tiddlywinks. Well, you just get yourself a ribbon candy bag. That's what we call them. I don't know what you call 707? them. 707? No, this doesn't have a number. The number is RB. Mm. Ooh, that's letters. Ribbon candy bag. I'm being very careful to place these this delightful sounds like you're being careful. little... I am. Because other people might chuck them in there, but I'm placing them gently because you don't want them to get marked up. Mm. So even though... And I'm, you definitely don't want them to get marked down. <laughs> heck no. <laughs> Well, maybe the customers do. Oh, yeah, I'm sure they do. But, uh, me, not too much. This was usually packing, getting ready to pack chips is not a blood sport. But hey, <laughs> it was. I mm -hmm. was afraid that uh, the universe was going to win. Mm hmm. But in, as long as I can get my stapler to work. My stapler. My stapler. I, 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 I believe you have my stapler. I just, I, I, I need my, my stapler. Um, as long as I can get my stapler, as long as that doesn't malfunction on me, mm -hmm. and it's wireless, so Whoa. it can be kind of iffy. Yeah. I uh, you know. It's my wireless. <laughs> it's also analog. No way. Yeah. Wireless, analog. Yeah. Any other, anything else? It has Bluetooth. What? It, it actually will order staples for you because, you know. If, you mean like if you uh, try to staple your, your teeth here, your gums will turn blue? Yeah, that's exactly how it works. Black and blue. Okay. So I have my one pound of peanut butter cow chips in dark chocolate. Oh. I like them off the face forward. And then I'm going to pleat this beer bag. Now when I was a youngin, this is how we pleated the bags for packing ice in my papa's ice bag. So you were a natural. Yes, this did come pretty easily to me, although I must so say... So if you're an ice packer from the 70s, yep. then you're perfect for uh, Packing doing chips. this. Packing chips, chip packer. What, what is this uh, decade called? The 2010? I the don't think we decided. It's, it's too weird. <laughs> we don't decide until yeah. what, 2020? Yeah, the 20s. There do you are, you Karen. Well, you did weigh it, wow. I was just too busy yammering. There you are, Karen W. I hope you're happy. I had to go through a lot to get this to happen.